Um, so how many of you think that you have free will? How many of you think you have free will? We're just going to have a mini dialogue while we're waiting. Mm -hmm. You do. What makes you think you do? Because it's my life. Because what? Because it's my life. Because it's your life? Yes. So do you have complete free will or just some? I guess it depends. But, like... On what? On what I want to do, on where I want to go. Okay. And what's how many, best for me. How many of you are in school by choice? <laughs> how many of you would be here would want to come to school even if you didn't have to? <laughs> You'd be fine have to. You wouldn't be where would you be? At home uh, somewhere else. <laughs> like would you still be learning? Probably. Probably. What? What what? What, who can tell me, what is free will? Um, I believe that free will is an individual's ability to make decisions based upon their, not based upon, but the ability to make dis, their own decisions concerning where they choose to lead themselves in life. Or making that a bit smaller, you know, your, <coughs> your own direct ability to choose what you do or how you react to something. Okay. What would be an example? Um, if someone were to insult me right now, I have the free will about whether or not I'm going to choose to slap them or walk away. And would there be consequences of that free will, that yes. act of free will? Like what? If, um, if I were to choose to walk away, that person might not know that they had hurt my feelings. Uh -huh. But if I choose to slap them, that might lead into a very violent altercation. You could also just tell them they hurt your feelings without slapping them. You, I needed a contrast, okay? So, so is free will based on the range of acts you think you have? Yeah. Who would agree with that definition? So free will can change over time based on, like, new possibilities? What do you think? Me? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think free will really de depends on what really not what is available to you, but what you think. Because if I, I could have like a set of choices and I could do what I want, but it's really within the realm of what, what I know and what I can think of as like to do. So like, 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 give me an example. Like if I, I don't know, it's, it's like if, if I wanted to like become like a doctor or something, like that's like the free will, like I have the choice and I can like work really hard and I can become a doctor, but there might be like something else that I would like would want to attain, but I just don't know it exists. So free will only extends to as far as mm -hmm. as you know. It only extends to as far as you know. What's yeah. your name? John. John. John, did you answer me because you wanted to, because you felt like you had to? I guess like because I wanted to. How about that time? That was more. How about that? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a slippery slope. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I feel like there's also, like, there's a set of step, like you said, to become a doctor. There's a certain set of guidelines that you have to go through in order to become one without facing consequences. Like, I mean, you, you could become a doctor, but it, by free will, if it was your free will, would you choose to have eight to ten years of education before doing so? Or would you think that after a certain amount of schooling that you had enough knowledge to become a doctor? But that doesn't mean you wouldn't face consequences. Is there anybody here? Without going to the public I'm sorry, what's your name? Phoebe. Phoebe, do you, is, do you think that um, free will is complete, or do you think it has, there's just within certain range? Like for humans? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, that's a very good answer. <laughs> um, how, is there anybody here who really thinks there's not such a thing as free will? Well, I think it's hard because we're creatures of habit, and like, the reason that John answered you when you said, how about you? Like when we're, we get used to just answering when someone, when a teacher calls on us. And we kind of, you can't even say whether or not that's free will because it's become habit. Mm. So, but because I do have lots of dialogues, I might ask somebody to say something and they choose not to. Um, is, is there always an element of choice in any human action? Can you think of any human action in which there's not an element of choice? Why well, I mean, you you don't and, and well, it's hard because maybe I'm not 
think about the song, but maybe like the action of like, I don't know, maybe like subconscious thought, you don't have a choice about whether or not it happens. You can't tell your subconscious to stop functioning, but it's there. And I mean, your, your subconscious even sometimes directly reflects um, how, how, you, how others perceive you outwardly because of just your thought process that you aren't that you aren't aware is there is reflecting your actions. Um, and that's just not something you have control over, but you have control over maybe the consequences of that thought process, but it's not the thought process itself. Yes, and any? Um, like, as to what you said, it just made me wonder, like, if you were to try to, like, learn what your subconscious processes were and you successfully learned them and they became conscious, could you then make a choice about what was going on? You couldn't always. But you might be able to get certain things out of there that you can make choices about. What's your name? My name is Luna. Luna, would you be more conscious of your choices, more aware of the process, even if um, you had the same range? What of do choices? you mean? Well, let's say that I'm thinking now about all my movements right now as I'm listening to you. And I'm thinking about my listening to you. Um, those are choices versus kind of tuning you in a little bit, thinking about my wife and family back here. Um, as I become aware of those different things, does that um, make it more possible for me to exercise free will to listen to you more carefully yes. because I have these other things going on too? I believe so. You think so? Okay. Yes. I was going to say that I think there's really only, well there might be a bit more, but the only one I can really, the only thing that I can really think that we don't have a choice is dying. Because we know it's, it's going to happen eventually. We don't have a choice of saying, oh, I want to live forever. So that's the one. So does having a choice, just the mere the fact that we have more than one choice, does that mean that we have at least some degree of free will? Well, yes. We have free will to a degree. Okay. What, and what's your name? Uh, Matthew. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah. Um, well, some in some instances we do have a choice of dying or not. Because some people, I was talking about like, like over all. But in the end, in the end, whether we speed up the process or not, we. It's a, you're saying it's, that's one thing that ultimately is going to happen. Yes, to us. except yeah. for me. Yeah. <coughs> okay. okay. Yeah. What were you we saying? God, uh, I was just, just thinking that. One of the choices we don't have is like to be born or not. You don't choose to be born. What about that? So is birth itself um, something that happens? At least the the person being born that's beyond choice. But that's. Or does it depend on your belief system? Because some belief systems are that you choose your parents and that you choose to be born. What were we going to say? Someone was going to say something. You okay? Um, you you um, you jumped into belief systems and that kind of segue in a nice way. But um, going on to explain or you know explore the realm of if if you have a choice or not mm -hmm. to being born, um, well, we'd be sitting here forever, mm -hmm. first of all, um, because subjects like that. Um, kind of branch off or, yeah, branch off is the best way to say it, branch off in, into many different things and it does depend on your beliefs mm -hmm. and whatnot. Like, um, I know I believe I did have a choice to be born and that I did choose to be born. I might not have been aware of that choice, but I did make the choice for specific purposes and reasons for my mm -hmm. existence here on this planet. Um, and that also leads me to believe that I don't have the same amount of free will that normal or people who don't hold my belief system do. So, I mean, it's like the, the subject of free will is really individual because the amount of free will you have depends on the amount of free will you're willing to exercise based on the amount of free will that you believe in. So it can be like a self-fulfilling thing based on what your beliefs are? How many of you think that your actions are guided by powers or forces or, or you know, God or gods? Anybody? You sort of? Uh, well, I kind of think that some of it is 
not necessarily like God or any of that kind of stuff, but uh -huh. more of like a this happened because this happened, so it keeps on going like that. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, you? I was actually coming back on what Reed said about Who's Reed? Have, uh, having a choice to like be alive or or even like dying, but you don't have a choice on what disease you're getting, you know? You don't have a choice like of getting cancer or getting leukemia, like mm -hmm. you just can't, well, or any other diseases, like mm -hmm. you just, I guess, can't. Okay. Okay, let's stop here for a second. Did you, did you want to say something else? Uh, I was just going to talk about like the disease and stuff and like in some instances it's given down to you apparently and then other instances like some cancers you can develop over time by doing a certain thing. So I guess that could be considered a choice. Okay, I mean the technology in medical science is becoming so sophisticated they believe they can study your DNA at some point and basically tell you this is what's going to happen to you at a certain age, all things being equal. If you, you know, no freak accidents pass. How many of you would want to know? Who says you wouldn't want to know? How many of you would want to know and maybe be able to prevent it? Or why would you want to know? Um, I think that's really scary, not knowing. You know, I, you know, when you guess about the future, uh -huh. that idea kind of manifests in your, the back of your mind and you obsess uh -huh. over it. So, and, and what's your name again? What's your name? Me, Gabriel. Gabriel. And so does that tie into sort of your notion of educated, being educated enough? Like, if you don't know, it's like sort of living in a willful cloud of not knowing versus wanting to know because you might be able to alter Absolutely. things? I, I, it's hard because my belief system, or whatever you want to call it, is extremely complicated. But um, I, I don't believe that knowing something like that would lead me to be able to change it. And I don't think that I have any right to change it because that's not my choice. That's whatever higher power out there's choice is. And if they or it had chosen to present me with that certain situation, then clearly I meant to learn something from it. Okay. So I wouldn't change it. Okay. And yes? I think it's like the cave, the allegory of the cave, in that um, at least for most times I like to think that I'd like to know what's outside of the cave. But for this time at least, I'm kind of like, I'm fine just watching the shadows on the wall because as soon as I know what's going to happen to me, when, like, um... How many of you know the allegory of the cave? Everybody but me! <laughs> no, I'm <okay. laughs> How do you know it? We have to read it. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, okay. And what's your name? Um, Allie. See, so, she answered. Was that free one? Oh, okay. No. Okay. Um, but, so, I guess sort of, I lost my train of thought, but basically it's just conflicting to me to be able to want to know it's outside of the cave in some ways, but also be fine just living in that cave because when I think, well, what if at like age 30 something tragic happens in my life and I'm forever changed? Like, if I know that now, uh -huh. I think it'll only make me more sad than if I just figure it out at 30 and I'm like, all right, roll with the punches in a way. Well, you know what you said, well, okay, yes. Well, I think I want to know what happens because like, and like from DNA, because like, if I just worry about like mm -hmm. day by day, mm -hmm. you know, because I can only worry about like the things that I can control, like, it doesn't make sense. I can, I can only worry about like me and what happens to me, but if I knew about like 20 years from now what's going to happen, I may worry about 20 years down the road and kind of not worry so about today. So it might today. inhibit your living today, knowing certain <laughs> things, depending on what you find out. Yeah. On the other hand, if you, yeah, let's leave it at that. Actually, this conversation kind of made me change my mind, like listening to people about like w me, if I would want to know or not. I definitely don't, wouldn't want to know like if I was going to die. I don't want to know how I die. That's just, I don't want to know that. But like if there was something that would be extremely like life altering, but I could still keep going, I might want to be able to know and prepare ahead of time to make it, make the transition a little easier. Like if it's something that's not going to kill me, but say it's like a disability I'm going to develop. Right. I would like to know ahead of time to like think of ways that I could make sure I could get around it and keep on living my life to the fullest. Well, that's interesting. One of the philosophers who in, who influenced me to start Socrates Cafe, you, let me just tell you, who, who came from Spanish to here? Okay. 